Hello, and welcome to my first video of 2018. I don't know. So far it all just feels the same, to be honest. Not a lot different, is there? Anyway. Got some more Sega stuff for you today. But first, I just want to start off by showing you a recent purchase. This came. That is a Mega CD Model 2. Uh, the Mega Drive I already had. This is already my existing Mega Drive. I got a pretty good condition Mega CD 2 off of eBay recently and I paid a fair amount of money for it but it came with the two accessories that are most often missing when you buy a second-hand Mega CD 2. The metal fixing plate that goes between the Mega CD and the console. You can use it without the metal fixing plate but there's nothing holding the console in place it's just kind of just sitting there freely and if you're not careful it, if you jolt it it'll it could become unplugged while it's on that's what the metal fixing plate is meant to prevent and the side extension module the side extension module serves no actual practical purpose it's it's purely you just kind of take a screw out the bottom there and you can screw it on and it just makes the Mega CD2 a little bit wider for the purpose of attaching a Model 1 Mega Drive to it because the Model 1 Mega Drive is significantly wider than the Model 2 which this Mega CD was, was primarily designed for aesthetically um, you, again you could plug in a Mega Drive 1 into this thing without the side extension module, but it would look weird. You'd end up with with a big chunk of the console just kind of hanging off the side. It would look strange. But, I don't know. I, I've got it. Just in case one day I ever decide to plug my Model 1 into the Model 2 CD, which will never happen, probably, because I love my Mega CD 1 more. I mean, I've always preferred the look of the Mega CD 1 over the Mega CD 2. I think the Mega CD 2 looks cheap and nasty with its little little flip door cover. I much prefer the mechanical drive of the Mega CD 1. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Speaking of the Mega CD, okay. Uh, I want to play a little bit of a game that I've been playing lately. Uh, you may have got a a brief uh, preview of it in one of my recent videos. I like RPGs. I really do. I don't have a lot of time these days to play them, and I think a lot of modern RPGs become too complicated for their own good. I like the 16-bit the era of JRPGs is, for me, in terms of complexity, ideal. Not too simplistic, not too over-the-top with numbers. I'm just going to increase the volume. With the heroics of Max and the Shining Force, Dark Dragon was defeated. The victors returned to their normal lives, vowing for renewed peace. 
Some disappeared, some left for further adventure, and some returned to their homes and families. And Anne Rhee returned to her kingdom as the Queen of Guardiana. With help from Ken, Luke, and Lo, they rebuilt the kingdom from the ashes of the Runefaust invasion. The story begins 20 years after. So, as you'd probably guess, this is Shining Force CD. You see there, a Sega copyright 9495. This is a very, very late Mega CD game. So, as a result, it's one of the more difficult to acquire titles. This game uh, is a, unlike most Shining games, which don't really do direct sequels, um, this game is a direct follow-up to uh, the original Shining Force. See, Shining Force, uh, this game is not an, uh, a completely original game either. Uh, there were two Game Gear games, Shining Force Gaiden 1 and 2, or Gaiden Gaiden, however the hell you want to pronounce that word. That only got a Japanese release for the Game Gear, uh, and never that those versions never made it west. Uh, Shining Force CD is a compilation of both Game Gear games, remade in uh, full 16-bit graphics, which is really cool. Um, it's basically higher detail, more colours, uh, as you just heard. Uh, CD quality soundtracks, some voice, some voiceovers, stuff like that. Also, two RPGs. Not your. This is value for money. This is two RPGs on one disc. I'm currently playing through the first game. Um, I would say visual, visually, uh, this game, this this version of the game is a lot better looking than Shining Force 1 but not quite not quite as nice looking as Shining Force 2 I just want to say at this point uh, they probably didn't because Shining Force 2 was a kind of a major Sega release probably had a big development budget you know behind it at the time whereas this was you know a late generation title it's a a re-release of uh, previously made games, probably, you know, this generation's winding down, Sega's getting ready to put all of its resources into the Saturn. Probably not willing to put aside a ton of resources on... for, for a... a game for a failed add-on, you know? So, you get the sense this game did not have the same production values put behind it as, say, Shining Force 2, but it looks good. It looks good. It's a decent looking game. Let's get in. I think I'm on the final battle of chapter two, which is a boss fight against a wizard. So I've got all my dudes. I've been doing a ton of grinding. And I've recently just um, promoted everyone to their higher class, so... This battle should be a walk. We should just stomp this motherfucker. Shining Force is a game that rewards grinding. 
unlike a lot of early JRPGs where you feel like you have to be grinding for fucking hours and hours and hours to see any kind of appreciable difference in your stats, uh, Shining Force is quite generous when it comes to stats. Um, it's not... It's, it's never been about big numbers, Shining Force. You're very rare to ever see HP or any stat in particular go into, go into triple digits in a Shining game, into a Shining Force game. Stat-wise, they keep start the numbers pretty low, so... You usually only gain about one or two points per level up, but that's still pretty decent for this game. Like these guys, I got them up to level 15, then promoted them, so technically they're level 16 right now. And you can see their stats, it's like 46, 28, 18, 5, it's like... That, that would be sub-level 1 stats for like a, a modern Final Fantasy game. We're gonna make our way up to the top of this tower and take out that wizard. Okay. Skeletons, we've got Pegasus Knights. Got priests. Yeah, this is gonna be a walk. We're going to crush these fools. Yeah. Centaur. Alright, going clawed. Bird soldier. Motherfucker. Well, that's a bad start. Suffered one point of damage. Fuck you, you ain't doing shit. Nope. Unimpressed. Unimpressed. You ain't shit, boy. I'm gonna turn this game up a little bit. It seems a little bit quiet. Fuck up that skeleton. Yes. skeleton. Damn. Damn, Roos. 29 points of damage. Shit. Fuck that guy up. You can only ever earn a maximum of uh, 49 experience points in a Shining Force game. Occasionally there is a bug which occasionally allows you to earn 50. I think there's a mathematical error in the game somewhere that occasionally surfaces and just gives you an extra point. So you end up with 50 instead of 49, but that's quite rare. It's normally a maximum of um, 49 points. It's 
to prevent you from I think it's uh, to prevent to, pre bleh, to prevent you from leveling up too quickly I think there was a, a throttle on the a number of XP you can actually do a uh, gain rather mixing my words. Priest, you motherfucker. Curse you and your little devil fairy. Huh. That AI seems to have uh, farted. Sometimes the AI in this game, a little inconsistent. Sometimes it does some really clever shit infuriates you with how with how like cunning it's been sometimes it just straight up just does dumb shit like that like that archer just ignored my bird soldier like come on that's a prime target how do you just ignore the bird soldier what's wrong with you man I think the game just wasn't expecting me to attack those enemies up there this quickly I just caught it off guard it seems get you up there you throw your spear. Nice. You show these fools your magic. I've always liked the sh the, uh, the classic Shining games. They are they're charming, and they're they're, they're simple without being too simple. Um, with the exception of the original Shining Force, the original Shining Force is very much baby's first tactical RPG. It's extremely basic, um, whereas Shining Force Two is a massive improvement over that game. Um, yeah, typically uh, the series has always had a pretty, pretty good, good level of quality. Um, there's a couple of early games that I don't like. Uh, as much as I love the Shining Force series, the original game is really tough to play these days. It's very simplistic and basic in a bad way by modern standards. Um, And, uh, what was it called? Shining Wisdom for the Sega Saturn, which is a Legend of Zelda clone, which is just kind of a eh game overall. But apart from those two, I pretty much love everything this series has put out. From uh, the first game, Shining in the Darkness, all the way up until... Uh, the remake of Shining Force 1 for the GBA, which by the way is a really, really good version of that game. If you want to play the original Shining Force, maybe skip the original Mega Drive version because it has not aged well at all, like it's not even charming. Um, maybe seek out the Game Boy Advance remake, which is a cool game. They add a lot. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, shit. Defense up by three. That's huge. In this game, that's huge. Typically, you never see any numbers past two when you level up. Split our guys in two. Oh, 
fuck. Well, we set ourselves up there, didn't we? I look like an utter idiot right now. <laughs> see what I mean? That I shouldn't, again, you, you, you see the AI slip up sometimes and it causes you to lose your, you know, to drop your guard. You think, oh, this AI is dumb, it doesn't know what it's doing. And then it goes and does something sneaky like that shit and just hits three dudes at once, which is a big deal in this game. Magic's bad news in this game. I, I'm, like, very few characters have decent magical defense. You know? Even, um, high-level characters can get fucking chewed up by a well-placed magic spell. Fuck. God damn, Roos. HP up by three. Huh. I knew this was going to be a walk, but I didn't... I don't think I, I truly realised just how how serious this walk was going to be. Let's go this way. Get our heel on. Okay. A lot of people, uh, particularly in in the uh, the tactical RPG circles, look down on this game because it doesn't have permadeath. That's another reason why I kind of prefer Shining Force over, say, a rival series like, say, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem has a tendency to take itself way too fucking seriously. And that, for me, is a massive turn-off. I like a little bit of whimsy in my uh, RPGs, you know? And I don't mean, like, like the dumb, like, anime slapstick style of whimsy, which honestly is just so fucking tiring these days. I mean, just, you know, bright colours. Some, like, creatively designed characters. Little to no grimdark at all. No, look, 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 look at that archer dude. He's got pink hair. That's great. <laughs> Although his sprite there has blonde hair. His battle sprite has pink hair. Not sure what's happening there. No, I can't reach him. Nope, I'm just going to wait here. Patiently. Okay, fine. See if our... Uh, this is a really bad idea normally, but... I have confidence in her abilities. Nice. Mayfair is blind, by the way. That's her primary character trait, is that she's blind. She's a blind healer. So not only did that Pegasus Knight get taken out by a healer, he got taken out by a blind healer. Good job, Pegasus Knight. Of 
pull our guys together. Oh, fuck. Okay, we've attracted attention. We have attracted the attention of the wizard. And his bow knight friend. Okay, I want to put myself in a, a checkerboard formation to avoid getting caught by a, an area of effect spell again. Oh, okay, he didn't move. You had a chance there to attack, buddy, and you didn't take it. What the hell? I'm afraid, are you? I don't think there's much more to this battle. I think we're approaching the climax here. Okay, I want to take out this dude. Fuck you, Master Mage. 18 points of damage. serious. F fuck. That's annoying. <laughs> Fucking priests, man. Ugh. Oh. That's the name of the wizard, by the way. Bazoo. By four points. Hmm. can't reach. <laughs> yep. Roos is going to show you how it's done. Now the threat, at least the immediate threat of mass magic has gone. Can afford to maybe group our guys up a bit more. Because that wizard, I'm sure he's got some fucking tricks up his sleeve. Okay, oh, mm, 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 mm. Do I want to risk it? Yeah. Let's go in. No, I won't. I won't risk that. Um, boost. Let's... Oh, I can't. I can't! Hmm. Don't have the range. you there to limit the wizard's movements and take a pot shot at the hell sniper. Get him out of the way. Okay. Alright. 
Oh, okay. Hmm. Oof. Hmm. Okay. Send Roos in to have a crack at Bazoo. Damn, some good level ups. Oh, Roos is... The AI does not like archers. Fuck. And get stock out of there. He's going to die. I mean, look at this boss's HP. 49 HP. That's all he had. A starting character in a Final Fantasy game would have three times as much as that at level one. This is a boss nearly halfway through the game and he's got 49 HP. Like... I don't know, that's cool. The Shining games are simple without being insultingly simple. You know what I mean? They get rid of the unnecessary fluff. It's like, yeah, you could do 6,000 points of damage to a boss, but at a certain point, it doesn't mean anything anymore, you know? The numbers are just superfluous, meaningless. Ah, missed. Okay. Can Claude finish him off? Nope. Good try though, Claude. A for effort. Ugh, I can't reach him with any of my spells. Okay. Victory. Cyprus? What? <laughs> We're going to the Mediterranean? What's that? <laughs> I know it, it's spelt slightly differently, but still, Cyprus. What? Oh, this might be a new... New member. Yisha. Apparently, we know each other. Shock horror. The humble stranger was Prince of Cyprus. I mean, he's always... Uh, traditionally, uh, Shining Force main characters are always mutes. Alright, chapter 2 end.
Yes, please. I would most certainly. All right, let's see how chapter three starts, and then we'll uh, we'll bounce. We'll get out of here. A customs ship. Silence. Wow, this this customs is super fucking lax. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, he's a mute and he's with me. I was like, oh yeah, sure, whatever. Like, goddamn. Train your customs officers better. Okay, we've got some new stuff. We got these lizard men. We got what's this? A sorcerer. Knows freeze two magic. A bishop. Heal three and dispel. Got some Pegasus Knights up there. Looks like our force is split in two. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. You can also, at any point, check out the map. I don't know why some of those dots are flickering faster than the others, but okay. Might have something to do with the sprite limit. We have to wait till we get to the main character before we can save, get out and save. There we go. Magic. Egress. That lets us retreat back to our base where we can save. Neat little game. Neat little game. You have to turn the console off at this point because... Oh, okay, the buttons do do something. I was convinced that none of the buttons did anything. Because in some of the other Shining games, that's just a, that's a dead screen. At the quit screen, so you have to turn the console off. But I guess not. I like the Shining Force games. They're cool games. 
Um, where is my flash cart? It's around here somewhere. No, seriously, where has it gone? Uh, huh. Well, that's a bummer. Um, I know. Let's check out some Master System games. So I have my Master System converter here. Because inside every Mega Drive is a built-in Master System for backwards compatibility. The all the Master System converter does is just act as a uh, slot adapter for the Master System cartridges, which are a different size and shape to the um, the slot on the Mega Drive. So that's all it is. It's just a, a slot adapter. Let's see. Let's have a look. We've got Xenon 2 Mega Blast, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, the Master System version. Something tells me that was possibly a European only release. The thing about the Master System is it was a fucking joke in North America, but everywhere else it did okay. Um, it did, I mean, it was under a different name, different brand in Japan. It was called the Sega Mark III, which was treated more like a, like, like a mini computer system than a, a console. Had like a tape loading deck, uh, an FM sound upgrade module. It was a, the Mark system was a very different beast originally in Japan. The Mark the, uh, the Mark three is like like the Mark system is really just a a slimmed down budget Mark three. It's like all the expansion stuff is taken away, um, and it's just made to be very cheap to manufacture. The original Mark III was that thing is that thing is nuts. If you look it up, got some Battle Outrun, Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy in Monsterland was perhaps some of the best bad cover art I've ever seen. Some regular outrun scramble spirits cloud master the original shinobi actually let's start with the original shinobi that is a good game to start with you know what let's do this properly I have here a proper mass system controller. Okay, and it just plugs in perfectly compatible with the Mega Drive inputs. Okay. Reseat the cartridge a little bit. Some of these cartridges have been in storage for a while. Huh. One more time. If it doesn't work this time, we'll uh, we'll try a different game. won't have to break out the uh, rubbing alcohol right now. 
So I know this game works because I've used it before. Success. Button one doubles as the start button. Ken O. Oh, wow. This is quiet. Let's add some gain. Add five decibels of gain. So, button one to attack, button two to jump. If you press up and press jump, you jump to the upper plane. Your mission is to rescue the children. That's right, if enemies get too close, you uh, break out the sword and attack them like that. Yeah, got that motherfucker. You don't have to worry about hitting the kids. We're fine, we're fine. Yeah! If you rescue all the children, you get a full life bar. Right, boss time. This dude, I think you got to shoot him in the eye? Oh no, bonus stage first. These bonus stages are difficult. I've never been any good at them. Fuck. Yep. I got ninjured. I don't know if they're randomised or if they're set patterns at all times. No idea. Alright. Is it two stages in a boss, or one stage? Nope, it's two stages. A few pictures of Marilyn Monroe up there for some reason. several uh, Shinobi games for the uh, Master System. I think there was Shinobi, there was... Cyber Shinobi, which was, was an actual sequel. 
there was a Master System version of Shadow Dancer, which was a Shinobi spin-off. And some people count Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. That's, I mean, that's that is it's Sh Alex Kidd in Shinobi World is basically just this game again, but with like Alex Kidd themed sprites. Uh, it's, it's, again, it's it's both an Alex Kidd game and a Shinobi game at the same time. All right, boss time. Pretty sure this is the boss. Got to hit him in the eye or the face. Got him. Suck it, Ken O. All right, bounty collected. Oh man, we've got to go. We've got to hunt this. Bring this helicopter in, dead or alive. Oof, there's some weird flickering going on with those purple. Purple uh, buildings up there. Wah! Didn't see that guy. grenades instead of a fuck. Didn't give you much time, did it? Oh, the grenades suck. Grenades are way worse <laughs> than the ninja stars. Oh, they don't, they've shorter range, they go in an arc. Can't rely on them. Okay. Got lucky there. Wow, fuck. Barely got through that one. <sighs> Fuck! Oh. I'm not fast enough. Fucking grenades are terrible. I hate them. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I got my ninja stars back. Good. We're in business. Much better. just disappeared. Oh, oh, fuck you. Okay. 
Fuck that guy. Punch him in the back of his damn head. Any secrets up here? Nope. Yeah. But you can shimmy. Ugh. If I had the sword, I could have taken him down in one hit. Alright, full life. Going up. Fuck. Fuck. This dude. I can't even hit him. Dude, fuck off. <laughs> no time to react at all. Just instant. <laughs> oh well. I like Shinobi. It's unforgiving, but it's it's decent. Certainly it's certainly no return of Shinobi, that's for damn sure. Nor is it Shinobi 3. Both of those are fantastic games, but it's a pretty good first game. What have we got? Let's try some. Let's try some Wonder Boy. Okay, let's just work it a little bit. The contacts on these cartridges have obviously become oxidised over time. There we go. I had this game uh, years ago. I had this game on the Game Gear. The Game Gear version of this game is really good. So this is the original Adventure Island. So... It's literally the same game, although this came out before Adventure Island. And after this game, Sega held on to the, um, uh, the name Wonder Boy. Whereas the developers of this game basically said, Fuck that, you can keep the name, but you ain't keeping the game. So they went off and just made this game, continued to make this game uh, under a different name, which is where Adventure Island came from. But then Sega then just made a bunch of completely different games, which are more Zelda 2 clones than, than actually have anything to do with this. And some of them are really good. But yeah, the later Wonder Boy games have are completely different to what this is. Bonus stage. I have no idea what happened there. Oh, wait. That's right, I forgot how those bonus stage works. Worked. You keep going until... you got to keep... Yeah, the energy bar at the top is a pain. It basically depletes, and you've got to keep collecting fruit. So that energy bar at the top of the screen. I think if you hold down the f one button to run faster, it depletes faster. If you take a hit, it depletes. So it's kind of like a health bar, but it, it just it just depletes slowly by itself as well. So you've got to keep moving. See, fruit doesn't hang around for long. life. 
Fuck you, fire! Oh, can I get it? Oh, yeah, I got the doll. Doll bonus. This game's good. I like this game a lot. <laughs> I played this game a bunch on my Game Gear. I got quite far as well. I think I finished this game. This might have been the first game I ever finished. I can't remember. I remember I got really, really far, and I know the, the, the bosses in this game. This game essentially has one boss. It has a single boss. And he just repeats every three stages. Oh, that was dumb. And every, every time you fight him, he's got a different head, and he moves slightly faster. But his attack pattern is exactly the same. It's just faster. Run, otherwise I won't make it. There we go. Fuck you, octopus. Oh, I can't make that. There's a lot of momentum on this guy as well. He kind of slides around quite a bit, so you gotta. Gotta. Oh! Heart attack, okay, yeah, that one's gonna fall because you can tell because it's a separate sprite because it's flickering. Good giveaway. Oh no, it moved up. Alright. What the fuck? Was that what I thought it was? <laughs> I forgot about those. Alright, oh, yeah, this game might be slightly racist. <laughs> Totally forgot about those. Oh no! They're straight up gollywogs in this game. Yep, gollywogs. <laughs> Problematic uh, depictions of black people in video games. Oh, wait, no! Oh, I thought that was going to come back up. I really thought that was going to come back up. And they thought they could get away with it by changing the sprite to blue instead of black, but I'm... I'm no. No. You can't jinx your way out of this one. I'm going to stay here. I thought I was going to make that. Okay. We got this. Doll bonus. Totally forgot about those enemies. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! They've got little red, little like bright red lips as well. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh! When I was uh, little, I didn't understand what those enemies were. I just thought, oh, I don't know, they're like weird little, little people. I didn't, I didn't realise they were like, oh, they're meant to be like black tribesmen, aren't they? And at the time, I was just like, I don't know, they're like weird enemies. What, what the fuck is this world? This is a world where giant snails exist, apparently. 
And also skateboards? That's one of the power-ups, by the way, a skateboard. So I didn't, it didn't click for me at the time because I was too young to really get it. But now it's obvious. I'm like, oh, oh no. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Just follow this boulder so another one can't spawn behind me. Oh, my God. Okay, boss time. Oh, not quite yet. Almost. Almost boss time. Oh, come on. You can't make that two-block jump. Yeah, you, the, the run button is so important in this game. You can't do shit without it. Something weird happens to the music. I don't quite understand it. Get a little death guy following you. Whoop. <gasps> oh, I didn't get it. I didn't jump in time. Yeah, that dude at the bottom there. That's the uh, that's the boss. to start again. Okay, let's do this. I was almost there as well. You can't... You can only get rid of the fire when you're invincible, it seems. It's, I think that little death dude that follows you, I think he drains your vitality bar like, f much faster than it normally drains. Because I noticed my, my... The bar seemed to be depleting really quickly, suddenly. <laughs> Fuck. Didn't quite... Oh, Jesus! Rock! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit. Ah. Oh. Jump physics. <laughs> Jump physics. <laughs> so, like I said, there's a lot of momentum in this game. It's it's you've got to be constantly like steering. Oh, no, I ain't got time. Okay, here we go. Okay. <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah, the attack button doubles as um, the run button, so... Okay, checkpoint four, good. Oh yeah, the, the doll disappears. You only get one chance to grab the doll per level. If you die, it's like, nope. Oh, it's gone. Okay, Duran. Was it a melon? That was a melon, I think. Okay, now it really is boss time. Oh, you do get the doll. Okay, so it carries over between lives. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, here comes the music. Doll already, eh? There's no excuse for not getting that. Whoop. Oh, 
milk, I believe, is a just an, uh, a complete 100% refill of your stamina bar. Ah, fucking rocks. Oh. Oh, these fucking frogs! Oh, I forgot! Yeah, the frogs are instant kill. Don't ask me why. <laughs> For some reason, frogs kill you instantly in this game. But I remember them pissing me off a ton at the time. Fruit. Here comes the frog. Here comes this motherfucking frog. Okay, yeah. Hit him from a distance. That's right. <gasps> oh shit! Third checkpoint. Okay. Fruit. I need fruit! remember him, but I don't... <gasps> oh, I wish the fruit would appear sooner, so you have more time to... <gasps> okay. Alright, boss time. Just hit him in the head. He's super slow right now, because it's the first time you fight him. But every time you fight him, he gets a little bit faster. Until eventually he's just going backwards and forwards across the screen like that. It's nuts. But it's the same guy every time. Ah, that's Wonder Boy. Let's check out the sequel. Wonder Boy in Monsterland, which is a totally, totally different game. Oh, look, there's a... It's a neat little, little poster here for the mask system in this one. Sega Games Catalogue. The ultimate challenge in games. Hmm. Yeah, we got we got ads here for let's see all these games that came to the Mars system. Columns, E SWAT, Game Ground, Moonwalker, Forgotten Worlds, Dynamite Duke, Super Monaco GP, Chase HQ. Golden Axe, Altered Beast, Afterburner, Outrun, Double Dragon, Shinobi, Choplifter, Dead Angle, Cloudmaster, Lord of the Sword, Fantasy Star, Ys, the original Ys, that's Y-S, Ys was a Master System game, Castle of Illusion, Dick Tracy. Cyber Shinobi, Jungle Fighter, Wonder Boy, Ghostbusters, Psycho Fox. I've got Psycho Fox. Summer Games, California Games, Tennis Ace, Alex Kidd and Shinobi World, Psychic World. It was, it was you know, a well supported system. Alright, let's play some. Fucking Wonder Boy in Monster World. So, 
Sega took the Wonder Boy series in a completely different direction after the original game. They were kind of just chasing like Nintendo's Zelda series at this point. This game is very much a clone of Zelda 2, except without the overhead overworld stuff, it's just the side-scrolling stuff. Hmm. Let's go in this. Hey, brave man! <laughs> Listen carefully. The country's fate depends on you. Your mission is to destroy the vicious dragon and restore peace. Take the sword and potion with you. I will see you again. Now he's locked. And this block has appeared. So this game is all about um, gathering gold and buying better equipment as you go. Ale or mead? I... Straight up alcohol in this game, what the fuck? That is a snazzy little waistcoat and bow tie that that dinosaur man is wearing. That's adorable, I love it. But I... I don't know. Fuck. Let's buy some ale. Yeah, that's right, you buy stuff and he'll, um, he'll tell you secrets. The secrets are there, whether you ask for his um, advice or not, but he'll straight up just give you like, secrets. Oh, come on. There we go. Whoop. That's right, this game has a time limit. I forgot about that. This guy's a bit easy. Huh? Oh, fuck. I'm trying to avoid the key, because once you touch it, it forces you out. Man, these yellow snakes are bad news. I like that he knocks first, he's so polite. See, now we're just murdering people. These little mushroom men didn't hurt anyone. They never hurt anyone. Yet we're just rolling in, in the, up in their town and just attacking them. Cloth boots, leather boots. I think they let you jump higher or run faster. I don't remember which. I definitely want to buy the shield. So now we've got a shield. Bombs or whirlwind? No. Fuck. <laughs> Later games would drop the time limit aspect, but I think there's a. Is it? Wonder Boy f uh, 4 in Monster World, which came out for both the Master System and the Mega Drive, is a great game. It's a really good Zelda 2 clone. This motherfucker. Yeah, suck it. Well, that does. It does something. Someone be beyond the wall. The 
hero's emblem may help may help you to beat it may it help you to beat it yeah the localization in this is not fantastic give this letter to her she'll be sure to something whatever I'm not I'm on my way man I'm not interested I got shit to do oh fuck these devils Yeah, if I'd, if I'd spent the money and bought the boots back in the town, I could have made that jump. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Oh, we've got a better sword. Nice. Mysterious ladder. It's not a shoe shop by the looks of it. But I want to know what secrets do you hold, mysterious ladder? <laughs> okay, yeah, so my shield does block those things. Yeah, you're not so fucking hot now, are you, dickhead? Fuck! I'm gonna die. Yep. Oh no, he... He resets. Okay. Should have tried to collect some of that gold first. Wasn't really perfect. Freaking out. Whoa. Why is that there? Oh, shit. Is Wonder Boy in Monster Land? I put the decent little side scrolling action game. Let's try the Master System port of Moonwalker, shall we? It's a nice looking title screen. Moonwalker's a weird movie. We won't play much of this. And then 
I, I gotta, I gotta be somewhere. So, aim of the game, explore the levels, check every door and window that you can reach to find the missing children. Moonwalk. Motherfucker. Yeah, sometimes there are just dudes hiding in the doors, and if that happens, you can't really avoid them, it's unavoidable damage, which kind of sucks. Also, this, this, the mass system D-pad is not great. It's like a, ah, uh, getting the diagonals is tough. Oof, somehow managed to avoid that one. Yeah, in this version you don't get to see all the enemies dancing, you just see Michael Jackson by himself just doing some low frame rate moves. Can't slide on the stairs in this version, which is a bummer. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, he just ran away. Okay, fine. Be like that. Ugh. Ugh. These guys hiding behind doors are. Really annoying. That motherfucker! Like, you can't do shit. The aim of the game is to search behind doors, and some of the doors just hide unavoidable damage. That's not cool. Are you just supposed to memorize which doors hide bad guys? If so, that's shit. Ah! Oh. Feck. <sighs> Try one more time. Okay, so I think it's it keeps track of which children you've already found, which is good. <sighs> I've got to remember, the guys who fall out the windows throw knives. You've got to duck first. If 
wear my hat now, that's good. Okay, got them all. Dance for me. I think I'm at that point where Michael Jackson's Moonwalker has ceased to be a novelty and it's just kind of a drag. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's enough. Okay. That'll do. I've got shit to do tonight. I will maybe do a video with some more Master System stuff soonish maybe if i've got some free time hopefully i'll see you then goodbye